Okay, so I'm not even gonna do my regular intro here, so let's just jump right into the video. So to record on your Apple device, you obviously need to have iOS 11. After you have your update in place, you will then need to go into your settings. From there, you will go into your control center and then select customize controls. At first, I didn't have the screen recording block listed at the top, so what I had to do was scroll down to find it and then hit the green plus sign out beside the name in order to bring the block to the top. This will also add the block to your control panel once you go to your home screen. Now, after you've done all that, hit the home button to be taken to the main page or your home screen and then swipe up in order to access your new control center or control panel, whatever you want to call it. Now, somewhere towards the bottom, in my instance, it's in the bottom right hand corner, you should see the icon of like a circle within a circle, whatever you want to call it. It's the screen recording icon. So to begin recording your screen, all you have to do is hit the circle. It'll then do a three second countdown. After that, you can exit out of your control panel. And at the top of your screen, you should have a red bar. This indicates that you are now recording everything on your screen. No, this bar does not go away, so it will remain at the top of your screen during and after you finish recording. Obviously, you can edit it out later when you're editing your videos. Now, to stop recording your screen, all you have to do is hit the red bar at the top. You'll then get a pop-up message verifying that you want to stop recording. If you do, hit stop. After you do that, you'll then get another pop-up message um, that will state that your video file is automatically been saved into your photo gallery. Now afterwards, if you want to transport your file to your computer, you can either mail, email it to yourself or if the file ends up being too big, what I use is an app called Dropbox. You can place pictures or video files into the app and then you'll be able to retrieve them via your computer by visiting the website. You can download your files there, put them on your computer, edit them, boom, bam, boom, there you go. And screen recording is it's basically that simple. Uh, just a few steps, it's not even that hard. Uh, thumbs up if this video helped you, and if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. So after you hold down the recording button, you will be then taken to this screen where you have the option to turn on your audio before you start recording. So you'll hit the little button at the bottom and then at the top, it'll say start recording. You hit that and then you'll officially be recording with audio and your screen will be recording as well.